I got some day trips if you want to get out of Barra, all well within one and a half hours away. The first spot is a beach called Cuesta Comates. I actually have never been here, but it's a nice little area of restaurants nestled on the beach. The current and waves were mild that day, so excellent for kids. The homie Miguel drove us to this location and the next one for 500 pesos, or a bit under 30 USD. This included a ride to and from all locations and several hours of enjoyment. He also recommended the restaurant where we posted called Maricela. I had no complaints. A little bit farther away is La Manzanilla. I've only been here a couple of times and my main reason for going was to see the crocodiles. Damn, look at these big ass crocodiles. Hella big. Look at that bird right there. Right by that rock. Yeah, just standing there. Just hella chilling. They're not even tripping. It's a bird. What is that? Termites? Could be a termite oh, yeah, house or it something. It probably is. Yeah. What? The cost is 50 pesos, about 275 USD for adults, and 20 pesos for kids, which is about a dollar. When you're on the bridge, there will be two paths. To the right is the Crocodile Museum, which I totally missed because I went left and it turned out to be a long walk to the end. I didn't know this, so check out the museum first, then go to the end. I missed out on the museum. Finally, we come to the beach. It's a long beach, places to eat, and pretty nice. On the way back, we stopped by an ATM that's like in front of a military base. It's near Malake. We were told you don't get jacked as much with the extra charges there. You can also check out the town of Malake, which is on the opposite side of Barra. You can walk over there via the beach. We didn't go this time, so we won't be covering Malake. Finally, we come to Tanakatita, or as the gringos say, Tanagata. Oh yeah, we're going to Tanagata. That's right. Yeah, we're going to Tanagata. My favorite beach in the area. I have family that live in Miguel Hidalgo Viejo. We won't cover that place in the video and you really don't need to go unless you want to check out rural Mexico. We would come here every year and go to Tanakatita since it was fairly close. Tanakatita has changed a lot. It now has a town outside the beach and even a paved road. When we went back in the day from Miguel Hidalgo, we would rent a truck and load up like 50 people from the rancho and head out there. The road was super bumpy and it took a while to get out there. One of my fondest memories of that yearly truck experience was when the Yeti, probably like a 14 year old boy at the time, jumped off the truck because he saw an armadillo and wanted to hunt it for food. Good times. While I went with my cousins in their Beamer, my parents and sister's family took a private driver named Marco to Tanagata. The cost was 3,000 pesos or about $163. This covered a trip to and from the beach and they did some extra small stuff and this was roughly the cost for an all-day trip. The car was also nicer than the taxi we took to La, La Manzanilla. This beach is still nice. This was the beach I first snorkeled in ever and it inspired me to start scuba diving. Most of the coral is dead now. I remember when it was very pristine with healthy coral. The snorkeling is better when you go over the hill and go to the beach on your left. With that said, we did snorkeling this time around and it wasn't bad. Still lots of tropical fish and we even saw a stingray. What, am what amazed me more was flying my drone and getting a view I've never seen before. You know that iconic three beach photo people get in Indonesia? This place has four beaches you can catch. Amazing. And I never knew this, even though I've been here over a dozen times. Again, the food is super fresh and good. It was clean when we were there and highly enjoyable. Totally recommend these day trips. Check them out. Ha, 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 ha.